Well, good evening. Good evening, and God bless you. God bless you, saints of God. God bless you. May I say this? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I know that this is the Monday before Thanksgiving, but we won't be with you on Thanksgiving. So I just want to say God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving to all of the saints of God, to all of the people of the Lord, to all of those that are around. I want to thank God for each and every one of you. I am Pastor G.L. Kennebrew. This is G.L. Kennebrew Ministries and the Voice of Triumph and also Spirit of Life Ministries. We thank God for you. Amen. I know this. Your presence. Yes. Your present is pregnant with endless possibilities. One of the things that we say at Spirit of Life, we're changing lives, touching hearts, and restoring hope. We're changing lives, touching hearts, and restoring hope. Right now, I have the First Lady, and I said this, and I said it wrong last week. I said we have the co-pastor of the Hillside Tabernacle Church of God in Christ, the City of Faith, but we also have the First Lady of the Spirit of Life Ministries. Hey! hey. Hey, Pastor. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. I am excited as always to be able to sit here and be a part of the ministry and be able to conversate with you about the word of God and how we can better ourselves and how we can be set free. Amen. We don't have to stay in bondage. Amen. We can be delivered, healed, and set free. Yes. Hallelujah. And yes. I am excited about that. Yes. Come on. Come on. Amen. Look at you. Amen. I'm excited Amen. about you. So glad for you. I'm so glad for you, our studio audience, those of you that are here and that are a part. We appreciate you so very much. Amen. And for you, our viewing audience, for you, our viewing audience, you mean so much to us. We began talking about it. We, we've been dealing with it and uh, for a while on our Facebook page. And uh, it's ha it has been such a blessing. I've had so many people talk to me and tell me how they've been blessed yes. by us going through the book Unshakable. Apostle John Eckhart, my brother, my friend, uh, great leader, uh, I want you to know, Apostle Eckhart, we appreciate the God in you, and we appreciate what you have written for the edification of the body of Christ, because this word has transformed and changed so many lives. Amen. I know our church is different. Yeah. Our church is different. Uh, we started on this journey. It was the end of July. Mm -hmm. We went on a 40-day consecration, 40-day fast, and 40-day consecration, and 40 days with Christ. And the Lord literally began to change and transform yes, he did. our ministry. And how he changed and transformed the ministry, he changed and transformed us. Amen. Amen. He changed yes. and transformed uh -huh. us. And that's what it's all about. It's all about having a changed and a transformed life. Amen. Amen. I, I, I want to uh, let you know that uh, we, we're getting ready to get back into this, um, this whole thing on unshakable. Yes. I'm going to James 1, 7. James 1, 7. And it is for let not that man suppose that he would receive anything from the Lord. He is a double minded man, unstable in all his ways. And I need you to know and to understand that Satan's master plan is to destroy the human race. Yeah. He doesn't like us. I don't care how many people tell you that Satan is your friend. Satan is not your friend. That's right. Sin is not your friend. Sin may feel good in a season. Mm -hmm. It may feel good for a moment. But the end of sin is always destruction. Now, for most believers, most church members, most sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, baptized believers, those that are born again, how Satan is going to get you, it isn't going to be through alcohol and drugs. Right, right. It may be through uh, sneaking, 
and doing it, but that's mm -hmm. not on a, a, a major basis, especially as those who profess Pentecostalism. Because in Pentecostalism, we advocate no drugs, no drinking, no adultery, no fornication. Mm -hmm. that we, 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 we're good with that. But where we miss the mark is in those things that are not seen. All right. We're good with what's seen. If it's seen, we're not going to do, do it. it. Right. You're not going to catch a Pentecostal at a strip club. All right. You're not going to catch a Pentecostal at a nightclub. You're not going to catch a Pentecostal uh, 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 dancing on a dance floor. And, and, and um, I, I know I'm going to sound a little old when I say this, getting jiggy with it. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to find them dropping it like it's hot. That's not, that's not the Pentecostal. Right. Right. And right. because that's not the Pentecostal way, most Pentecostals will find themselves bashing someone else. Right. Let's take it away from Pentecostals. You have those that are religious. Help My me, God. Jesus. My God, you talking. Those that are religious and those that have a religious spirit, you're not going to catch them cursing anyone out. I said you're not going to catch them. All right. <laughs> you are not going right, to catch right. them cursing anyone out, right? Right. You're not going to catch them uh, uh, doing certain things because the outward part, they're going to make sure that that's good. Mm -hmm. They will wear the robes. Yes. They will wash their face, brush their teeth, comb their hair. They will dress up. They're not going to wear anything that's outside the norm. They're going to be, they're going to wear those things becoming of a saint. Right. They want to look the part. So you're never going to catch that. The problem that you will have with those individuals are the things that you cannot see. Amen. So you wonder what's hindering your faith. Yes. You wonder what's blocking your pathway. Mm -hmm. You wonder what's stopping you. Lord, you said in your word, watch this. Lord, you said in your word to ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be open unto me. And then that person will get upset with God because they'll say, I'm living clean, right? Right. I'm living holy, right? Uh-huh. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. Yes. Am I, am I right? Right, right. But I don't see the manifestation of what you promise. And the Lord is saying the same thing to us that he said to the church at Ephesus in Revelation, the second chapter. He gave them a great resume in Revelation, the second chapter. The first verse, the second verse, the third verse, the fourth verse, the fifth verse. But then you get down and the Lord says to them, after giving them a great resume, yes. but I have something against you. Okay. And what he had against them was the fact that they had left their first, first love. love. Yes. So you were doing the right thing with the wrong, wrong motive. Yes. And, and, and God says, man looketh on the outward appearance, but God looketh on the heart. Yes. So if God is the one that's looking on the heart, he's not just looking at what we're doing. He's looking at what's motivating us to do it. Yes. What's your motivation? What's behind what you're doing? Amen. 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 God, God moves in us and moves on us. And a lot of people don't understand that where we are right now is we're in a place where we need deliverance. Mm -hmm. Now, we want deliverance. We want breakthrough. And a lot of people don't understand that they are bound by demonic spirits. Yes. And these demonic spirits are there because of the spirit of rejection. And there are open doors. Yes. I said there are open, open doors. doors. And we open doors and we set agreements and we set covenants that God did not ordain for, the, for our lives. And it happens a lot of times when we are younger. Amen. That's true. Most rejection 
And, and most, most things happen to disannul our covenant of faith when we're younger. Attacks us, it will attack us and bring us down and pull us out of the place that God has ordained for us to be. Amen. I just want to um, inje uh, inject some of how the rejection enters in mm -hmm. at the beginning of life. According to the Unshakable um, by John Eckhart, mm -hmm. being born with the gender opposite what the parents wanted. Yes. Constant criticism by parents, siblings, or authority figure. Unjust discipline, mm. particularly if another family member appears to be favored. Mm -hmm. Being called names that emphasize embarrassing personal features. Mm -hmm. Fathers showing weakness, apathy, or passivity in their authority or responsibility role. Uh -huh. Rejection to sexual molestation or incest. Mm. Um, speech difficulties such as stuttering, stammering, lisping, or an inability to pronounce certain consonants or words. Unhappy parents who argue, mm. fight, won't talk to each other, or only speak to their children, and the children will feel guilty and responsible because of that. Wow. Alcoholism is another in one or both of the parents. Mm -hmm. Being expelled from school or rejected by peer groups. Mm -hmm. Being embarrassed over the parents' religious beliefs. Mm. Amen. Parents showing no active interest in the progress of their children's schoolwork, sports activities, or leisure time pursuits. These are all ways and doors that Satan uses to get in from the spirit of rejection. Yes. You know, that reminds me of um, something that happened with my son and I. And, of course, um, my son is darker skinned, darker mm. complected yes. than, than I am, of course, than, than you are. Yes. And one of the things that he had to deal with and to me, it was really nothing, but for him, it was something because when he would go to school, yes, the children would talk about the difference in our skin complexion. Yes. Now, a lot of people don't know anything about my son or his background, but at the same time, because of his skin complexion mm -hmm. and my skin complexion, there was uh, almost a taunting yes. uh, of him. And he felt that rejection based off of his skin complexion. Now watch this. Many people would love to say that he experienced uh, rejection from other races. Right. But the problem was not other races. The same race. It was the same race. Sometimes same family. Right. And, and you have to be careful because People will reject you yes. in your family. You can have all siblings, all born to the same father, right. all born to the same mother, and there's variations in their skin complexion or variations in their height. Right. All right? Uh, variation. I, I know people talk and they say, oh, you're a very tall man, but I am the shortest. Yes. <laughs> I am the shortest uh -huh. out of my, my family members. When I talk about my family members, I'm talking about my brothers and some of my cousins. All right? Um, if you put my cousin Cornelius, we call him Corn, you put me and, and Corn and, and my brother Zeke together, and you're looking at the three of us, and of course, we all grew up like brothers and sisters more than cousins, uh, but Corn is 6'4 and a half. My brother Zeke is 6'5", and my other brother before he died, he was 6'6". Six, six. I'm, the, I'm the rut, and, and my, mother, my mother will <laughs> always say, I, I thought you were always going to be the run. And I'm like, I am 6'2". Right, you're tall. I, I'm closer to 6'3". Now, it depends on what day you ask me. <laughs> <You're>, you're, <laughs> depending on what day you ask me, I'll be 6'3". I'll be 
So I'll be six, two, and three fourths. But <laughs> it, however, however it works out on that day that you ask me. But really and truly, they literally treated me differently because I was always the little guy. Right. I was always the small guy. And that, that sense of not being important mm -hmm. uh, because of, and those are little door openers. Right. That's, that um, door opener uh, goes right into the mental attack that um, Satan puts on us. It, it's just as simple as a skin complexion. But believe it or not, David's grandmother, your mother, and him are the same color. Right. In our family, we range from super light all the way to dark. We have every color in the spectrum. So anybody yes. in our family can, can have a child that is any shade of brown. Right. So when people look on, of course, they're going to pick that out. But that is a, indeed an door opener by Satan because the Bible says in Proverbs 23 and 7, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Mm -hmm. The way that you think determines who you are. Right. The mind has always been a favorite target mm -hmm. of the enemy. If the devil can control your mind, he can control your life. Yes. Spirits that attack the mind include mind control, confusion, mental breakdown, mind bending, and mind-bending spirits, insanity, madness, mania, fantasy, evil thinking, migraines, mental pain, and negative thinking. These are what I call as stinking thinking. Amen. Amen. And, and Lady Kidderbrew, I want to bring this up because I know for a fact that there are some people right now, they're wrestling and they're toiling with some things. Uh, they're, they're wrestling and they're toiling with aggravation, yes. agitation, irritation. Uh, their, their minds have been under attack. Mm -hmm. There are some people that's been under uh, the spirit of mind control. Amen. And mind control demons and yes, demonology yes. and spirits that that you've been attacked by. Some of you, you've been under attack because people have said some things to you and about you. There are some people, they know how to talk about you and they'll talk about you in earshot. Uh, Amen. Yes, they'll they'll yes. talk about you in earshot. They know that you're close enough to hear them or they'll say it to someone that they know will come back and say it to you. Amen. Amen. There, there, Amen. There, are, there are some people that have been used as pawns on Satan's chessboard. Yes. And they've been trying their best to get you and to get to you and to rip you apart and to tear you asunder. But I declare and decree by the power yes. of the almighty God that it shall not be so. Not today. Amen. Not, Amen. oh God. Amen. Not today. Amen. Not in Amen. your Amen. life. And even those things that the enemy had a sign to your life to destroy you. The thief cometh not before to steal and yeah. to kill and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And one thing that we must do when we are under the attack of the enemy, yes. according to Mark 5, 9, we must call him out and you must call him out by name. Man. Yes. Yes. When yes. Jesus approached Legion and Legion, uh, that demon, those demons spoke out and they said, our name is Legion for we are many. Jesus called him out by name. Amen. He said, what is your name? Mm -hmm. Amen. And Amen. sometimes you have to know what you're wrestling with. You have to know what you're dealing with. And I'm going to tell you something. The Bible says that they shall expel. Expel. Yes. Yeah, they shall expel demons. Amen. We don't take the devils in. We cast the devils out. Can you all say amen to that? Amen. We cast the, the devils, devils out. out. Amen. amen. Where do you get that from? We get it from the word of God. We get it from the word yes. of God. The Bible says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized uh, he that believeth and is baptized shall, shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned or condemned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out 
devils yes. and we cast everything out yes. but that spirit of rejection and all the related spirits that come along with it. Amen, amen, amen. Lady Kennebrew, I believe that amen. God is leading you right now to pray. I feel that in my spirit. Amen. <laughs> the good news today is that you can loose yourself mm. from these spirits yes. and loose your mind. I want you to pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I loose my mind. I loose my mind. From the spirits of control. From the spirits of control. Confusion. Contru confusion. Mental bondage. Mental bondage. Insanity. Insanity. Madness. Madness. Fantasy. Fantasy. Passivity. Passivity. Intellectualism. Intellectualism. Knowledge block. Knowledge block. Ignorance. Ignorance. Mind binding. Mind binding. Lust. Lust and evil thinking and evil thinking. in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name I of free Jesus, myself. I free myself. I break every stronghold. I break every stronghold in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, and it is done. And it is done in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I want to go a step further. This is this is right before Thanksgiving. And we're not going into Thanksgiving messed up. Amen. 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 Come on and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I bind and break. I bind the and spirit break. Of the spirit of addiction. Alcoholism. Alcoholism. Drugs. Drugs. Nicotine. Nicotine. Bondage. Bondage. Gluttony. Gluttony. I break the spirit of bitterness. I break the, the root of bitterness. The root of bitterness. Hidden bitterness. Hidden bitterness. Anger. 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 Resentment. Resentment. Revenge. Revenge. Rage. Rage. Retaliation. Retaliation. Murder. Murder. Hatred, Hatred rage, rage, depression, depression sadness, sadness, loneliness, loneliness suicide, suicide, death, death self-destruction, self-gloom, self-pity, self self fear, fear, hurts, hurts. Pain, pain, rejection, rejection death, death, witchcraft, witchcraft hatred, of authority, hatred of authority, fear of authority, fear of, authority, fear of, authority, fear of darkness, fear of, darkness fear, of accidents, fear of accidents, fear of man, fear of man torment, torment, apprehension, apprehension timidity, timidity, shyness, shyness terror, terror, panic, panic worry, worry, dread, dread lust, lust, adultery, adultery fornication, fornication, masturbation, masturbation pornography. pornography Perversion, perversion, rape, rape sexual, sexual impurity, pride, pride arrogance, arrogance, haughtiness, haughtiness self-righteousness, self vanity, 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 ego, ego perfection, perfection, rebellion, rebellion stubbornness, stubbornness anti-submissiveness, anti disobedience, disobedience, anger, anger hatred, of authority, hatred of authority, witchcraft, witchcraft control, control, possessiveness, possessiveness domination, domination, rejection, rejection from the womb. From the womb Rejection, rejection self-rejection, self -rejection. hurt, hurt, deep hurt, deep hurt bitterness, bitterness anger, anger, hatred, hatred fear, of rejection, fear of rejection, fear, fear, insecurity, insecurity depression, depression, sadness, sadness and, loneliness. and loneliness. I break it off of me now in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you I that I am Lord. free. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I I'm thank free. you that I am free. I am free. Ooh, glory Hallelujah. to God. Every free believer. Hallelujah. Come on and give God praise right glory, now. Glory, I am glory. free. I'm free. Ooh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that your present is pregnant with endless possibilities. Within you is positive potential power. Yes. Positive potential power in you. With man, it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. We want to thank our sponsors again. Elevate. That's L-A-V, the number eight. CBD.com go and receive product. This ministry operates off of your financial gifts and contributions. And I'm asking and I'm challenging each one of you to give a $20 seed on this week. Now, here's what we're going to do for every person that gives that twin well for the first, first five, five, first five the first five that gives that twenty dollar c that twenty dollar gift we are going to give you product 
from elevate. You rub it on your shoulder, your back, your knee. My wife testified about her torn meniscus. Yes. And uh, you'll hear that testimony once again. And uh, the prosperity of God is going to flow on you and in you. In the name of Jesus name Christ, of Jesus. we pray. Well, until the next time, this is Pastor G.L. Kennebrew. You've been listening to the Voice of Triumph broadcast brought to you live from the Spirit of Life Fellowship, as well as Hillside Tabernacle Church of God in Christ, the City of Faith. And if you want to join us on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock a.m. at 2561 North Fair Oaks Avenue, Altadena, California, 91001.